Ooh, what's going on, guys? I'm Jake, the Offensive Gamer, and this is Thief Part on, 6, if I'm not mistaken. I'm You've been uh, this time around, we're going into the House of Blossom, or Blossoms, I'm not really sure. It's basically a whorehouse, so that should create some interesting... Uh, interesting parts for the game, and it's chapter 3. Forgot about that, right. Um, I've already played through this part, so I know how everything goes. Oh, I'll read this. I snatched the ring ba uh, Basso wanted straight from the fingers of the Thief Taker General himself, the Baron's Hound, but that doesn't give me answers. First, Basso tells me I've been away from the city for an entire year, and then the Queen of Beggars says I was sleeping since the beggars found my body. So why don't I remember? Maybe I, ha maybe I have this gloom that's going around. Shit, I thought I wasn't going to be able to read that whole thing. <clears throat> Alright, so, like I said, I have gone through this whole thing, so I pretty much know everything I need to do. So that's good. If I was to be seen dallying with these blossoms, I'd be ruined. I wouldn't worry, sir. The game is becoming increasingly interesting, uh, I've noticed, since the last, uh, through this chapter, it becomes more interesting, in my opinion, at least. Gossip as you commons do? They're even worse. I was told my identity would be protected. Oh, it will, sir. It will. Uh, I purchased quite a few upgrades. Um, I got the wire cutter, which will take care of traps and stuff of that nature. Um, I also, uh, got, I forgot what the item was called, but it, uh, cut some paintings and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm also, I, I purchased leather hardening, which means I can drop from, uh, higher distances and not worry about, uh, damage. And I also, uh, purchased an armor upgrade so I can take more damage just in general when I'm being attacked or something like that. Oh, that was weird. Give me that shit. I might be dressed in leather, but I don't think I'll pass as the cabaret act for the evening. I'll have to sneak inside. Alrighty then. Once again, I probably will cut up uh, some of the less important or interesting parts of uh, this chapter. Uh, you know, just kind of the scrounging around, trying to find different things to do. This is also a pretty long chapter, so I'm going to uh, cut it into two different parts. Just letting you guys know. I do enjoy the brothel, though. It's a, it's a, it's uh, an interesting uh, mi or chapter in the game. It's It's a lot of fun, actually. Uh, other than just the titties, there's there's some fun uh, action going on in this part. Good level design, like very good level design. No, there we go. All right. The madam's chambers would be a good place to start. If I don't spoil the moon <laughs> here, I could fill my pockets too. I think I spotted my cousin here. The mask is an improvement. <laughs> You're so cruel. <laughs> Tell me about your cousin. <laughs> Can I reach anything right there? No, okay. I'm gonna loot a few things and then I'll uh, take care of the primary thing that I'm here for. Excuse me, sir. Why is everybody sleeping in a brothel? Get a blowjob or something. You're in a fucking brothel. Who sleeps in a... Ah, fuck it. Who cares? Ah. I kind of lost my place. Oh, there we are. Okay, I think I've gotten everything in this area that I can at the moment. Time to move on to here. So hard to avoid my eye. Come on, Susie. You know the madam's rules. No touching the merchandise. Well, perhaps when your shift's over, 
What will you do then? I'll shuffle home. Dick and pa like always. There is that guy gonna oh, fuck Mr. off. Graveholes. There we are. Now go away, sir. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. I did this completely the wrong way last time. I'll explain after I do it the right way here. But uh, basically what I'm going to do is there's this uh, little bit of machinery down there. I don't want to get caught. But there's a bit of machinery down there where those two uh, prostitutes are. Um, and if I overload it, it will... Uh, cause like a vast amount of fumes to go out into the uh, entire brothel and it will effectively cause everyone to become unconscious and thus I can pretty much I can maneuver throughout the entire brothel without having to worry about stealth or anything like that it's a cool it's little thing if I overload the pump it's sweet dreams for everyone there's a mechanism behind the tank it must control the shutters I know madam sister and I have the wire cutters Best when they fall asleep before they All right. finish. And I have to also press something sure. that's out there, so I'm not free and clear just yet. Oh, I can't get that. Weeks now, I didn't see Lord ben Vernon. He'll be fine. Rich folks don't get the gloom. It's his heart I'm worried about. Every time he sees me get undressed, I All right, so I guess I didn't right go about it the wrong way. Um, <laughs> this part's a little bit more difficult. Matter of fact, actually, I'm going to go ahead and save, just in case. Yeah. Hey, that's interesting. They, they look different from last time. He keeps talking about his cousin in the treasury. You'll need to wash the silks for a week if you milk anything out of Thorburn. But... His boring friend Horatio What's-His-Name is here. Alright, this worked last time, so... Huh? Over there. Someone's in the shadows! No! Yeah. Never cared for this stuff. Didn't work for you. Senses the last thing I need. Now the birdie's asleep as well. I almost got caught, but that's fine. Actually, last time what I did is I just knocked them out. Uh, I was a little bit messy with this chapter last time. Is that really all there is? Alright. But yeah, so pretty much everybody's asleep now. Slap those fucking candles. Oh, there's nothing. Alright. I thought there was something down there. That's weird. Maybe it's randomized or something. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, for, I, uh, I see people do that a lot in movies and video games where they, like, put their finger over the fire. And I know how fire works, you know. It's like, if there's no oxygen, fire can't, you know, be there. So, basically, you're suffocating the fire when you're doing that. But still... I just, there's that split second where you, I, I'm sure you feel like you're about to burn yourself and you just, I don't know. Like, if you don't, if you're not all in with that shit, I can imagine it can hurt like hell. Alright. Titties. Give me your money. Now get down. 
I will say, knocking out the prostitutes, uh, if you guys, I don't know, if anybody's coming here for a walkthrough or something like that, and they're wanting to know how to get some extra cash or gold, I suppose, knock out the prostitu uh, prostitutes. That actually can get you a, a good coin. It seems like uh, each one of them has like 30 or so gold on them, which is really pretty nice. Because fuck it, why not? Ah. More things and stuff. I see you have two new blossoms working tonight. Yes. Peach and Neroli. They're good girls. Then I expect that to be reflected in your contribution. But you already upped the black tax twice this quarter. The trouble on the streets is making life difficult for everyone. It would be a shame if the opium trade started experiencing delivery problems to this address. <sighs> I'll have it for you later this evening. Good. If I have to wait, then I'll have a bit. On the house. Something young and uh, juicy. I shall call Jasmine Blossom. Jasmine's getting too old. I want something younger. No! Petals do not work directly with the uh, clients. You know that. Are you refusing my request? You will have your tax. But the rules about my girls will be obeyed, even by you. Jasmine will fulfill your requests. She better. Have everything ready. Oh, and uh, I'll take that hummingbird sweet. someone hasn't cut your throat by now so yeah evidently that guy's a pedophile I found that to be uh, an interesting little Easter egg right there ah! calm down it's just opium oh damn it <laughs> got a brief look at some titties right there Ooh, okay. Uh, this is actually pretty important because uh, there's a safe uh, later on in the game that is very important for that. Nope, no. God damn it. And you, give me your money, fuck off. Uh, and, okay, so basically, um, for the safe that we're, uh, we're gonna come across in a second, there's a bunch of, uh, different combinations you can use that are constellations in the night sky, and, uh, if you come across this, you see the star sign for the, uh, combination in Coil's room is the crown, the crown being 573, so that's the combination to the lock. Uh, we'll, we'll come across that in a second. Smack them, smack some more of these motherfucking candles. Fuck you, candles. Made those candles my bitch. I don't know why I enjoy doing that so much, but I just like 
making sure all of the candles are just destroyed for some reason. Okay, the House of uh, Strongbox has, uh, Registry. The House of Blossoms recognizes that the client Benedict Coyle has reserved the use of Madame Zhao Zhao's Strongbox. Mr. Coyle has paid the premium deposit and received the only copy of the safe's temporary combination. Loss of hit, uh, this combination will result in the forfeiture of all uh, belongings held within. This statement is signed and affirmed by Benedict M. Coyle. Once again, the stuff that's in the safe in the next room which we will be coming across very shortly. Alrighty then, and uh, this peephole isn't really necessary, it just leads to right out here. Ah. Okay, can't open that one. Alright, I'll read this. Uh, Madame Zhao Zhao's diary. The bizarre pedestal I discovered in the hidden passage continues to perplex me. It appears that something should be placed there, but what? And the meaning of those mysterious symbols upon the walls? I am well read, I dare say, more than most, yet I have never seen their like. I refuse to ask what uh, that sour little fish, Eastwick. He's been uh, seen too much as it is. Honestly, my whispering corridor has become a curse. Sometimes I feel I should have, uh, have it bricked in. Though I know it's one of my silly moods, no matter how many of the clays, or sit clays, the city's noble swine I hear squeal their closest desires, I am no longer, or no... Jesus Christ, I am no closer to this house's true secret. One day it shall be mine, even if I have to pluck all my eyelashes for wishes. All right, and that's all the documents for this chapter. This pass that Zhao Zhao mentioned for myself. It must be in here. Indeed, Garrett. Good job. All right. I don't know what this does, to be honest, but fuck it. Wait. No? That's odd. I don't know what it is, what it's for, then. Uh, okay, so five, seven, three. Haha. -ha. Success. Yeah, not that rewarding. It's uh, 70 gold, but still, nonetheless, it's something. No. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, motherfucker. And so this is a point of no return. Fuck you, candles. This part was kind of a bitch at first, because I wasn't really sure what to do, but it's pretty simple once you uh, understand the objective. I'll, I'll just get it out of the way. Alright, I'm going to try to avoid the titties. Sorry. Oh yeah, I don't think there is one in this room. Hello, my pretty. Madam says you're new. Don't touch you're me. You're not in control here. I am. You'll give me what I want, or I'll. Don't touch me. So yeah, that was uh. Kind of a little hint at exactly what was going on with, uh, I can't remember her name. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I forgot her name, but, um, by the way, the girl who, uh, who's vo uh, voice acted by, or Jesus, that was completely switched around the wrong way. Uh, the girl who voice acts, uh, for that character, uh, is actually Cass from the Fallout New Vegas. Jaja That's where I remember her from. Journal. This is older than the House of Blossoms. I know this bird scratch. It's one of the markings on the medallion. Yeah. There must be more. There's one right there. There's another right here. Uh, 
And the other two are on the other side. Fuck you, candles. This guy's a little weird. He likes getting slapped. Are you gonna do more than just walk in front of me? Maybe a little touch. All right, no titties, so I can show. Oh. <laughs> oh, just a wee bit harder next time. And just a bit. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that guy likes to just get slapped and slapped around. He's kind of a masochistic sort of person, so. Yep, a little bit weird right there. Lilac, I think you do it on purpose. And there's the final symbol. I would stick around with those, but, uh, you know, there's some, you know, graphic sexual content with some of them, so it's kind of, kind of be, I kind of have to be careful with them, now to align you know? Symbols. So, sorry to you 12-year-olds that might be watching. Alright, so now we're going into the ancient ruins. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here because this is about the halfway point of this chapter. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please like and subscribe and all that. And I will see you guys next time.